good morning or afternoon for some of you. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Brown and I am the Director of Government Relations and Professional Development here at the North American Invasive Species Management Association. I'm very excited to be moderating today's event. I certainly enjoyed last year's and learned a lot. Looking forward to today's event. With that, I'm gonna introduce NASMA's Executive Director, Belle Bergner, for our welcome. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Let me know if uh, you can't hear me just fine. I will assume you can. And I'll just echo Elizabeth by welcoming everyone today to the 2022 EDMAP Summit. We are coming to you from all over North America, but we are so thrilled to be able to partner with EDMAPs based in at the University of Georgia. And we are so grateful to our sponsor. Thank you so much to all of these uh, generous sponsors for making today's event possible. So I'm going to give just a little bit of a welcome and tell you a little bit about NASMA for those who don't know. I see many of our members are here today and those who are not members. Thank you for joining us and I'm excited that you're part of our community today. Our mission is to support, promote, and empower invasive species prevention and management across North America. What better way can we do this? One of the best ways we can do this is using consistent tools that everyone is using, such as EDMAPs. But really what NASMA tries to do is our goals are to provide value to the invasive species management community, you. We aim to make your work easier and we aim to provide a safe community that bridges geographic and jurisdictional divides. Again, EDMAPs, as you'll see today, is one of the best tools that makes that happen. And we hope that we are providing value to you today, and we hope that your work is easier after learning how you can use this um, wonderful tool even better. So real, for a couple minutes, I'm going to tell you a bit about what we do for those who don't know. So you know where you can deep, deepen your involvement and professional development through what NASMA offers. We support international standards, including mapping standards, um, our certified weed-free products program. We advocate for the needs of invasive species management through National Invasive Species Awareness Week. We provide outreach to the public about the importance and critical issues around invasive species. We provide a prevention and outreach tool, our program Play Clean Go. I'll talk about in a little bit and show you some of our tools. And we offer a variety of professional development opportunities, including today's webinar and other certific certification programs and our annual conference. Speaking of our conference, we will be in Florida in November. Please save the dates. And if you are inclined to submit an abstract, that deadline has been extended to April 15th. So start thinking about what you'd like to present. And if not, just please join us. It's going to be a fantastic conference in partnership with the Florida Invasive Species Council. We really do bring in people from all over the continent to our continent. So you get to be a part of a community and feel like you're not, you're not the only one struggling with the same issues. Everyone is struggling with the same or similar issues. You'll come and get a, a bigger perspective on your work by joining us this November. I'll talk in a minute now about Play Clean Go, which is a program that provides turnkey, ready to use graphics and outreach products to integrate into your communications and outreach. We do this by providing a graphic library that has banners, banner ads, a graphic media, graphic design options, printable brochures, uh, rack cards, you name it. There's a variety of graphic tools that are ready for you to plug into your channels. Here's an example of one of the rack cards that you can download and print on your own. And these are also customizable. So we work with partners to incorporate your local message that's important for you. There's also a store where we sell prevention tools and other outreach products, including handheld boot brushes, trail signs, uh, boot brush interpretive panels, uh, boot brush stations with interpretive panels, Buckthorn blasters and more. The buckthorn, sorry, the boot brush stations have been incredibly successful. We redesigned them uh, with USDA APHIS support a couple years ago to make them even easier to use, more engaging, and meet federal agency standards. So they are now placed literally across North America. And again, in, in keeping with our goals and our mission, we want to create, we want to have wheels that you do not need to recreate. And so clearly our partners 
and other organizations are using these wheels rather than recreate their own um, across the landscape. Professional development. So in addition to a summit and monthly webinars, we have on-demand professional trainings. Our mapping standards training was just launched in December, and we are about to launch two new certificates, including foundations of invasive species management and terrestrial invasive plant or noxious weed management. As a member, I know many of you here today are members, we provide even more ways for you to get involved in the community, share your voice, and have a say in how NASMA supports the invasive species community and what we advocate for. So as a member, you get access to our network through our membership portal. We have a monthly networking hour, a virtual meeting. It's really fun, different topics every month. You get access to a huge library of webinars, those free, those Play Clean Go outreach tools, there are even more in the, in the uh, member area, and discounts on a variety of things, including the store products, annual meeting registration, and professional development trainings. And so if our members here today feel inclined, I see many of you on here, I'd love it if you type in the chat, what is the membership benefit that you find most valuable? What is it that you love about this community? And share that with everyone here today. Um, here's just a plug for those first Friday networking hours that are really great to bridge our divides across the continent. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up and again, thank our sponsors for making today's event possible. Thank you, Invasive Species Center of, uh, in Canada, the Center for Ecosystems, Invasive Species and Ecosystem Health at the University of Georgia, the Washington State Invasive Species Council, Colorado Department of Agriculture, Montana Department of Agriculture, Minnesota Invasive Species Advisory Council, and the Utah Weed Supervisor Association. So with that, thank you so much for joining us. And I will turn it over now to Chuck Bargeron, the director of the Center for Invasive Species and Ecosystem Health.